Lesson 6. Adding decimals. Goals for this lesson. I understand how to add two or more decimals together. Welcome back. Today we will be learning about adding decimals. We add decimals the same way we add normal whole numbers. For example, we're going to compare this to this. So first, let's review by adding up these big numbers. So we have 1,029 plus 349. So 9 plus 9, 18, we carry the 1. Then we have 2 plus 4, which is 6, plus 1 more, which is 7. And then we have a 3, then we have a 1. So we have 1,378. So that's what we get when we add up these total numbers. We get 1,378. Now, let's see what these decimals add up to. So we have 1.029 plus 0 0.349. And what do we call that 0 here? We call it a placeholder 0 just so we can line up the 1 with the 0 here. It is completely optional, but I prefer it. So first we have 9 plus 9, which is 18, and we carry the 1. 4 plus 2, 6, plus 1, 7. Then we have a 3. Then we have 1. So we have, and we carry that decimal down. So we end up with 1.378. Doesn't that look similar? Look. This one just has a decimal place here, and this one has a, um, a comma for when we have four-digit numbers. They have the same solution, so we did all the same adding work. It's just the biggest difference is the decimal point and the comma. So the biggest difference between adding decimals and adding like normal whole numbers is the decimal point itself. It's not the actual adding. Now, what if the places don't actually match up? What do we do then? We use our good old placeholder zeros. So we say 0 and then 4, 5, 9, 0, 0. Done. And then we add down. So 2 plus 0 is 2. 7 plus 0 is 7. 4 plus 9 is 13. And we carry the 1. So then we have... 9 plus 1, 10, and then the 5 comes down. Then we have 9 plus 4, which is 13. So then we end up with this, this number here. And let's just experiment. What if we said that, okay, we're going to move this decimal point all the way over. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 places. So we end up with 8. So we end up with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There we go. Then we 2 comes down, 7 comes down, we got a 13 there. 10, carry the 1, 5, 9 plus 4. 13. So we get the same answer, it's just we have to keep track of the decimal point. So again, the biggest difference is adding that decimal point. Let's do some more practice. Let's say we have 1.0. So now we have to add that extra placeholder 0, so the 8 comes down. 8 plus 5 is going to be 13, 5, 6, 7, 6, 7, 8, 12, 8, and then 1. What do you think about that one? Was that hard or easy? Because we just got to think back to adding. The core, the core of this is just addition. 
It's just new notation. Let's review. Adding decimals. is just adding while keeping track of our decimals.